Howdy y'all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2 Free Mode Edition. In the previous episode, we finally got our first hand of vehicles now operating on the map, as we're now transporting commodities to their respective destinations, as well as transporting passengers. And, as well as starting up our own shipping operation of picking up copper from this mine, and taking it down to this port, where covered wagons will then pick up the copper and take it to the nearby smelter. And in this episode, we're going to continue on expanding the railroad as once, well, as once we get enough commodity, well, enough cash, that is. But we also need to start delivering supplies of bottled alcoholic drinks from here and bringing it back to our home base in Leamington. So, let's basically start off with that. Now, Consumers is Longhorn and Leamington, and we already have supplies being sent to Leamington. And if I can recall, I believe it was a 360 meter station. If that's correct. Yes, it is. There might be more demand from this factory in the future, so we're going to put a double track and put it at two platforms just in case. Place that there, and then we'll reconnect, well, actually connect this industry to the main line with some of this track work. Make it a little smoother. Do that. And also do this. Connect both of these industries together. Well, connect the two stations, the station to the main line. Uh, construction not possible. It's on it's the same point. Sometimes this algorithm for laying down track can sometimes be a real pain. Anyway. Oh, it's on a... That does not look pretty. I am going to be deleting that and redoing it. It's going to be instead... Let's see this and then connect it's not pretty but at least it will work place down the signals and now this new section is ready for go well ready to be used we'll smooth the ground a little bit to make it a little more smoother and now we need to set up a new train all right We'll need to also set up a new freight train to pick up the loads of drinks and bring them into Leamington. Full load, 10 minutes. This is going to be one of these freight trains. So, I'm going to change the color. Copy this. And this will be known as Freight Train CS2A. Which will be carrying bottled liquor. It will carry a pick up a full load at the factory and bring it into Leamington. Now we'll need to purchase a locomotive and some rolling stock to carry that load. If I can remember where that depot is. Oh, here we are. Now then, let's see. We have already used some locomotives already. We already have this Baldwin six-wheeled 060 delivering the alcoholic barrels into Longhorn, and trucks are already picking up this drink at Longhorn Bottling Plant to bring it to town. So we already have the 280 being used on picking up grain, and this 080 being used on picking up loads of water. So let's see if we can use another type of engine. We might try using the coal-burning 460 Central Pacific 10-wheeler. I find these engines very useful in mixed traffic service. They can carry both freight as well as passengers, depending on the map. We'll get about these. 200 will probably be a good amount of them. And finally, we'll need to place down a caboose. And then we'll have to take out a little bit of cash because this is going to cost about 15.1 million dollars. And I, and thankfully, we haven't gone over our 100 million loans. 
over a hundred million on our loan so far. We'll assign this to this. We'll assign it to that service, and that train will exit the engine house, and then just head to Lemonton, be turned around, and then head back to pick up the loads of alcoholic drinks. The question is, does this engine have a tender that says Central Pacific? No. Perfect. So it could look generic. Let's see. Hmm. Sugarcane is not too far off. We could deliver sugarcane down to the brewery. But we need to basically conserve as much cash as possible right now. We have no access to oil, so we can't produce fuel. And there is calcium carbonate, which is used in cement. That one is located near beyond see, near the town of Cedar Point. Hmm. Richland Steel and Cigar Factory are close by. But the only place I could find with tobacco is down in the town of Whiskey. And for steep coal and steel. Black Diamond City has a coal mine, and Kingsburg has an iron ore mine. So these are going to be a very long distance operation. And the only place I can pick up logs is near Riverside. Let's see. There's an oil well. Oh, a new silver mine is just found in near Blue Water. Well, Blue Water City. Sadly, it is not bauxite. If it was, we could have had delivered it to this aluminum mill. Let's see. Well, actually, our tracks are not too far off from Whiskey. We could basically extend the track this way to head into Grand Valley, as well as picking up tobacco leaves and then building an extension over this to connect to the Richland Cigar Factory. And the only town that needs cigars is Riverside. And there's also this fishery. But the only place I can basically process fish is down in Pine Valley. But if we deliver fish there, we could produce meat that can be used at the Blue Water City food cannery plant. Hmm. Well, let's see. Oil sands, asphalt, tools, coffee beans, silver ore, plastics. Hmm. Well, we might as well start expanding towards Kingsburg, because if we do that, then we can at least get started on hauling an express train. So, we'll extend the tracks out of Longhorn to reach our next destination. Since this is a track crossing over a road that leads to an industry, it's going to have the diamond shape and not the cross buttons. 40, degree, 40 mile an hour curve is okay. 45 miles an hour for that. Let's see. We'll basically also do this and this. And then basically curve this track up. If we can get any space for it, that is, for placing down a switch here. Actually, I think I'll probably rearrange the direction of this switch. There we go. A lot more better this time. It will have room for the dwarf signals. 40 mi miles an hour into Longhorn on the, pa on the passenger track. Oh! It seems one of my industries has just upgraded. Let's see. Oh! My alcohol distillery plant has reached level 1. That's pretty good. The waterworks are still producing a good amount of water. There's still tons of grain to be produced. Copper ore has finally arrived at this little truck stop. And the first loads of copper ore have finally arrived at this copper mill. And let's see, how much has this ship actually earned in its first delivery? 1.25 million dollars. That's actually a pretty good amount of money. Plus, this, this cargo station has like over 300 units of copper ore. 
so at least the ship will be making a lot of money in the long run, which will help keep our company finances in a good standing position until, well, we need to use all that excess money for a large extension. Let's see. At least we got, still have a profitable passenger train, profitable shipping operation. We just need to at least have one profitable freight train before the end of the year. Hopefully this train will be able to get there before it happens. Let's actually turn the tracks to the right here. So the tracks can head towards Grand Valley and then into Kingsburg. There's also an oil sands not too far from Grand Valley located here. So if we deliver water and oil sand here, we can not only get refined oil, but also sand and wastewater, which then can be delivered to this recycling plant and processed into building materials. Let's see. All right, this freight train has made a profit, so it should basically show up now. So, we still have a profitable passenger train, profitable freight train, well, passenger train, freight train, ship, trucking, and trolley, and bus. So, we're still doing pretty good. Now, if we were starting a lot more earlier, that would be different, but considering most of these vehicles are still learning. Speaking of which, how did this uh, 080 have a black texture? And, ah, uh, crumbs. This freight train is too long to fit. I'll have to basically modify this a little. I'll just have to add some signals here to basically increase the length. Alright, that's fixed, and now we're finally in the year 1881. Now, Grand Valley needs both war materials as well as tools. At least for now. And beyond Grand Valley is the town of Kingsbury. This will be our end terminus for now for our express trains. We'll set up an express from Leamington all the way to Kingsburg and back. And weighing my options for motive power for the express, this Marietta and Cincinnati Railroad 440, the Washington, could be useful on this new service. As I still need to basically, well, operate a profitable operation because even though I want to operate this new express service I have to still make enough money to pay for this equipment if I don't have enough money I can't buy anything and if I take out more loans my company will just go into the red and that will not be good well at least the tracks around here will basically be suitable for a high-speed express later on in years, powered by a much more faster locomotive. Now let's see. Depending on the situation, we also want to connect to the town of Woodsburg nearby, which could be useful, as well as to connect to the town of Granite. So, we'll basically set up about another 360 meter station right near here, and basically modify it from there. Gotta get rid of the stock platforms, as these will basically still be reused only for when we use them as well. <laughs> Sometimes I can't speak of these. Anyway, basically, we're only using the wooden platforms until around 1920. That's when the more modern buildings come to play. And those wooden platforms will be station and new stations will be built with concrete platforms. 
and eventually, once we reach the 1980s or 1990s, we'll eventually just switch over to the stock platform design for the era C station buildings. We'll add another platform here. Add the tracks, so freight trains can pass through the station as well as having a spot for my express trains to pick up and drop off passengers, especially for those catching a local train to their final destination. We'll do this as well. And that will basically do it for the tracks for the passenger trains. Now we need to start adding... Oh! We also have a new industry. At Pine Valley... Well, at Pine Valley, a new vineyard. That will basically be producing grapes. Now then, we'll add the wooden cargo platforms here because we'll probably be dropping off tools and weaponry eventually in the not too distant future. We need to at least supply one town on this map with all the commodities needed. Every commercial and every industrial commodity that's needed in one town. I gotta make sure my company still makes a profit on all types of transport, among everything else. Okay, we'll then place down the stations here. We'll use the cargo shed mod to place down the main building and add this. And then finally place down some roofs for the passengers so they won't basically have to worry about getting wet. Alright, we'll also change this from Grand Valley to Grand Valley Yard for our freight trains to go into there. We'll also build this road and then connect it to the main one here so buses can basically pick up passengers and bring them to town, as well as bringing them back to the station to catch their trains home. Do it like that. And then we'll basically make it about 40, uh, 50. 50 for these curves. And then extend the track out a tiny bit more. And then basically build over the road. That is, if the road doesn't basically cause an odd bump in the way. Which it doesn't, thank goodness. Alright, we'll also need to basically build a bit of a track that goes beyond it and connect to the other towns in the region. So we'll be limited on the direction of this entire area to basically place down a, to allow every train, a lot of trains, to enter the region. That's going to drastically affect the cornering speed of those, of those trains, but I have nothing I could do to fix that. Oh, great. Let's see. <clears throat> All right. Place down the passing loop track, the signing tracks for the pass for the local passenger trains, and then add the tracks leading into the freight signings so they can drop off commodities needed in town. To make it a lot better, we'll also basically make the track straight beyond here, and then curve it to connect it to the main line here. That way, trains coming from this direction can enter it, as well as trains from this direction. Sixty-one miles an hour on these curves, that's okay. 
We'll extend the track a bit up and then reconnect it here. And that will basically do it for the track work here for now. Okay. We'll place down, well, flatten the ground a bit. And now we just need to do is build the terminal station here in Kingsburg. If we can find a good solid step. We'll just get rid of this road, extend it out, and then basically place down a level 3 building, 360 meter passenger terminal. Do it like that. Do it like that. And we're back. Sorry for that quick cut. I thought something happened. And I checked the video footage and it did not happen, so <laughs> false alarm. Anyway, now with the track work completed, we can now start purchasing the equipment needed for our first ever express passenger train. We'll basically about get about 95 million out of the loan, and let's choose the this for for All American, and for its passenger cars, we're basically gonna go for the no center win. Go for the center windowed express pass express baggage car. A combination. About three coaches. Actually five. And add an observation. Actually, hang on. Let's see. That looks a lot better. 29.2 million. Alright, we're over a um, hundred million dollars in debt. Well, three million dollars. Well, now 115 million in our loan. But now with our new express train set up, we can now basically add the route. So, it'll pick up passengers on platform four, pass through Greenwood. And the game needs to basically load in the locomotive and the coaches before the game can basically go on. But instead of platform 3, it's going to go to platform 2. That's fine, because it's going to also pull into Longhorn on platform 2. Wait, not platform 2, platform 1. Same for this one. Wait, no, platform 2... Go for Longhorn. Go for Grand Valley on track 2. And then head into P Kingsburg Terminal on platform 1. Then head back down the same way through Grand Valley on track 1. Longhorn on track 2. And Greenhorn on track 2. Actually, on track 1. With that being said, we now have an official express passenger train on the map. And this little old style 440 will be the main power for it. Though, we'll also have to set up a bus service here in Grand Valley in order to get people from the station into town, which won't be too difficult. We'll place down this here. We'll set up another bus service here in Grand Valley. This will be Bus Service B. Oh, I actually forgotten to label my express. This will be known as Express Train A. And in parentheses, it will be the train will travel between Leamington and Slash Kingsburg, which is the other terminal station. I'll purchase about four of these. We paint them yellow and then put them onto this. And then I also need to get a bus service to bring people from the state from the terminal into town in Kingsburg. This will be bus service C. Wait, didn't I? there's no thing on line one. Turn that yellow. 
place down another bus state well another road depot get four of these get them e colored and put them to work all right I'm happy to say that now we got everything we need to set up in fact there's actually one passenger waiting to ride the express train into Leminton and as for the Leminton passenger train, there's actually five people wanting to ride this service. So happy to say this new express train is going to actually be, might be a very profitable venture for us. And wait a minute, why is this train heading into Lemonburg on one of these platforms? I don't know. It's supposed to head, oh, I think it's just trying to get, get through this to get to the terminal station. But other than that, though, I think we have reached a good ending point for today's episode. So, if you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my outside schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!